Thank you. So as this cold weather makes its way our way, a lot of us are starting to turn up the heat for the first time this fall. Yeah, certainly going to need to do that in the next day or so. And if you haven't had your heating system checked in a while, you might want to make that a priority. I looked into what getting ahead of the winter season could do for both your savings and your safety. Super. Right before three week old Willa Crosby was born, her mom Jordan ran into something no pregnant woman should have to endure in a heat wave. Her HVAC unit failed. It was really hot. I was like sitting in the living room and I remember almost crying, telling the maintenance guy how happy I was to see him. This week, Carolina Heating Service technician Avery Smith was back to prep the unit for winter. He says it's not just about maintenance, it's about safety, like the call he was on two weeks ago. It was an exhaust vent, and that bird nest was preventing all that carbon and the exhaust from getting outside. So instead of it was just back flushing it all into the cabinet where the blower was going right in the lady's house. As for efficiency, Smith says these preventative service calls are key to making sure the starters are all working properly so the costly motor doesn't fail. Both winter and summer maintenance will run you about $300, but it will also lead to savings, about 30% on your gas and electric bill, and extend the lifespan of your unit. Then you also save about 90% on costly repairs because we catch them early before they're, they're too big of a problem. Two big reasons to be proactive, savings and safety. I was glad I went out there that day. For this mother of three, the peace of mind is priceless. We're already not sleeping with a newborn and then if our kids are cold, then the four-year-old and the two-year-old are waking up, which means nobody's sleeping. <laughs> Definitely don't want to have that happen. Now, in addition, HVAC maintenance that can be preventing carbon monoxide buildup in your home, it's also really a good reminder to check the actual batteries in your fire and CO2 detectors inside the house. That homeowner who had the bird's nest stuck in the exhaust vent did have a CO2 detector, but the batteries had died.